What's going on there, fellow YouTubers? It's Chris from the Mars Anomalies channel. All right, guys, I always tell you guys I got a real cool one for you today. This one actually will surpass those. And the reason why I say that is for several reasons. One, kind of put my own panorama together kind of thing. So I think you'll like that. Um, and it's extreme. I mean, you see like just regular ground to extreme. What I did was my on my last video with the Spirit Rover. I think it was Sol 71. I could be wrong. I got so many numbers in my head right now, but we'll see that in a second. Um, and what I did was I went back and I checked out some more of these pictures and I got the left-hand side of it. So let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, this is the one I did for you guys. I don't know if you guys can see this, but right here, this is that weird part that looks like if you were, if you were sitting above this looking down, it looked like a U-shape. But I seen this piece here and this piece here. And, I, and of course, I enhanced this whole area. And this is what I had. This is what I came up with. Here's that piece right here. Two pieces coming down. And then I enhanced the crap out of this thing to try to drag out what we could in this picture. And as far as I'm concerned, there's a whole lot of something going on in this picture. These don't look like just simple shadows or rocks. This is like actually, this thing is backed up looking over a ridge or doing something. You can actually see what looks like mountains in the back. I think these are pasted on here because I think I showed you in the video that this particular little hill type thing actually goes into this dark area. And again, that implies to me that this whole area from this bottom to right here is completely being blacked or browned or grayed out to hide what's in here. And here you go. Now, I want to show you because now not only did I do that, but I went to from this one. Now, you're going to see this piece here, right here. You're going to see this move over to the right because I found this other picture. Now, you can see it here, right in here. Well, I don't have it in color, but we will do that right now. Um, so now you can see it right here. I'm just going to do this slowly. No big deal. Right there. So everything from this point on to the right was actually enhanced. Now I decided to do the left. So I'm not going to go through all these steps here. I'm not going to make this too long, but I'm going to jump right to the end product. And here you go. Here's that piece uh, right there. Let me just do this again. You've got it right here. Here's that piece, two pieces coming down, and everything from the right, I've already enhanced. Now, check this out. I don't know if you guys have seen this, but this is pretty wild. You got this piece here, it's thick. It's going like this, but there's also a 90 degree angle piece, which I didn't really see in the other picture from the last video. It goes down like this. And this does like this. So, I mean, there's some crazy things in here, guys. It kind of looks like it goes off, like I said, it kind of looks like it does this U shape, if you could see that. If you literally could float above it but you know but there's much more check this out and i'm going to give i'm going to give you this guys and i want you to see this but check this out you can see what looks like these weird what looks like supports of some sort some kind of other actually when i went back to this look at this looks like some kind of weird backwards s type thing going on but that might be just simply the the uh manipulations um you got these things that look like round pieces up underneath here. This right here. Now, this is where it showed what looked like that weird structure thing when I said I looked like I had a tongue kind of thing hanging down. Went like this. Had this round piece going across, going down, going like this, coming down. And there's another one behind it. So, the crazy thing about it, they look like they're separate. See that? When you back out of this, I'm going to show you that in a second. But you've got this piece here, and you've got what looks like a bunch of stuff. Now, keep in mind, people are going, well, it's not very clear. You're absolutely correct. And you know why it is? Because you're not supposed to see this. There's, there's things laying here on the ground. Now, what I did was, and I think you guys will like this, because like I said, I decided to do my first panorama kind of thing. What I did is, it's nothing special. All I do is I just took it into paint, and I took this, like I said, this particular area right here, and this area right here, and you can see that thing that has that weird looking tongue thing sitting right there. What I did was I just went like this, took this here and overlaid it onto the other picture. So this would be perfectly, this piece and this piece would be perfectly onto the other photo. Okay, let me show you what the original one looks like first. This is the original one. These are the two pieces. Here's your little spot right here, that white piece with the two pieces coming down. And this is what I enhanced the first in my last video. This is the second part, and you can still see this, all of this area in that second part photo okay this is what i come out with here's this broad picture two photos put together this is what i found 
Now, what I like about this thing, it shows a whole area now. Now, people, you know, like I said, have been accused of, oh, you know, you're just enhancing uh, shadows. There wasn't any shadows, you know. Show me a shadow in here, people. I'll, you know, like I said, show me a shadow in here and I'll print it out and eat it. Because I just, I'm not seeing it. What, right here? Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm cheating. Um, again, from here down is nothing more than garbage they put over this. They're trying to hide what's here because I showed you this little hill. And I don't know if you can barely see that. But it literally, once it's enhanced, it literally comes from here and through here. Why would it do that? Why would a hill actually show an outline going into this darker area? It simply doesn't make sense. That tells me, and again, and I said this before, it implies that they're covering this area. Okay. And again, this is the other one. I'm going to back out. This is the other one. So, like I said, this is what I come up with. And you can see this right here. But I want to step further for you guys, too, because I wanted to show you this. Now, I'm looking at this whole thing, and I'm going, yeah, there's far more going on. Now, somebody said something about, hey, you missed a bridge. No, actually, I didn't. Because you can see one here, one here, and I said, these are, I said, they remind me of a bridge because I showed you the 90-degree angles right here. I said, or oh, they're structures or something, but these look like, almost look like a kind of a weird train kind of thing. I don't, or structures. I, I don't know what they are. Um, but people are going, you know what? These, again, they look kind of blurry. Yes, because you're not supposed to see this stuff. Now, again, I want to step further. What I did was I took the originals and threw them over this one, and this is what you get. So now you can see the original photos and the enhanced version. Yeah. Um, the reason why I did this too is so you can do a quick comparison of the original and the enhanced. Now, if you and there's another reason why I did it. If you look here, you can see this object in the lower picture on the right, and then you can see it here very faintly on the upper one. Same thing with this bridge structure, whatever this thing is, it's right there. These are the things I see in these pictures before I even enhance this thing. I saw this line with these two pieces coming down. I saw this piece right here. I saw this right here in the middle with these two lines coming down. I said, wait a minute. These things appear to be something in this picture that they're hiding. And people can use that pareidolia crap all they like, but I'm not saying this is a bunny in the clouds. I'm not saying this is anything. I don't know what these are. I'm just saying there's something here that clearly does not belong in this picture. Let me enhance it and let me see what I find. Well, the bottom is what I found. So if this is nothing more than pareidolia, I guess I'm, I'm, guess I'm loaded with it. And... You know, uh, at least I'm mental with it. Um, but they're clearly not rocks. And if these are rocks and shadows, like I said, I'll print these things out and eat them. But to me, this shows without a doubt what is going on in this picture. Here's a Look at these right here. This piece right in the middle and the enhanced photo down at the bottom. Right here and these lines come down. They're right there. Right there coming down. There's your two lines right there coming down. They're using a tactic to make these look flat. That's all there is to it. And people need to start waking up to this. So when you see this now compared to this top photo, come on, guys. You know there's something more than meets the eye going on here. And this, to me, is a good distance away. I mean, this thing could be looking out. It could be up on a hillside looking down at this, this flatter area, and this is what it's seeing. Uh, I mean, it, it, it tells me, and even though I can't see these items very clear, and I did do a slight shopping on this one. This way you can see it just a hair bit better, because I think if I do this, if you look at this area right here and this one here, it's slightly blurrier right there. It's a little slightly blurry. Not bad, but it's there nonetheless. And so I did a slight shopping to try to bring on some, but I don't want to pixelate it to death either. So you guys will get these up there. This is the reason why I haven't put any pictures up on uh, Google+, Plus because I wanted to do the second half and throw this kind of panorama kind of thing um, together to give you guys an overall bird's eye view of this whole area. Now, um, you guys give me your comments. Let me know what you think. Um, yeah, there you go. And like I said, I let me get rid of this here real quick. And there we go. So, again, this is on the left. Everything on the right side of this particular area has been enhanced. And I've already showed you that. Now I've got the left pot, and all we do is over, overlap this. So we get the whole picture in here, and that's what it is all about. So, and there's the other where it should have been over there, and this is the other one. So, like I said, conjoining them, now you can actually see a whole, like, panorama type thing. And, oh, yeah, this is just awesome. So I like the idea of this, th this stuff here. Um, I hope you like it too. I don't want to make this super long because I've already done um, uh, this particular area. 
Now, the second half, you're going to get all of these up on the Google+, Plus, so you can analyze and study these things yourself. Um, to me, without a doubt. And this is from the Spirit Rover. Here's another thing I wanted to add, too. I don't know if you guys have seen this observation or observed this, but I'm looking over here and say 872 to 880 as far as the Curiosity Rover. Okay. Um, what happened in eight days? Did it fall off a cliff? I mean, what happened? Um, and here's another thing. A buddy of mine, Billy, sent me this. This uh, told me about this app. It's called uh, Mars Weather. And it's from, if you go on, if you've got an Android, I don't know if you can find it for the uh, iPhone as well, but the for the uh, the ones with the Androids, I got on there, went to the store on it, and it says REMS, R-E-M-S, um, and you can get on there and you can actually see the weather. Now, it only went up to Sol 782. I'm sorry, 872. I got a little dyslexic on the numbers there. Uh, 872, and that's what I still got on this phone. But guess what? The air temperature, as far as Fahrenheit-wise, was 34 degrees max. Now, it said negative. The minimum temperature was negative 97.6. The ground temperature was 41 and it was 97.6 as far as the negative at night. Now, I don't know how true these numbers are. Let's say they're actual. They're actual. Mars is going through a winter, too. Mars actually, believe it or not, is warmer than I am right now. I'm at 20 degrees Fahrenheit. So they're going through winter. I'd be curious to see what this looks like as far as uh, summertime rolls around, unless they're fudging these numbers. But supposedly, both NASA, ESA, and all of these other space uh, are actually using this particular... Um, you know, particular, uh, I think it's, what do they got here? They're using this particular uh, app or whatever it is. Um, it's not showing wind, but it is showing sunrise at 6.09 a.m. And it's uh, 6.27 for sunset. So it does have a 12-hour day, maybe a hair over a 12-hour day, at least according to this. And the pressure is 902, I don't know if it's, let me see if this changes. Well, it's 9 millibars is what it is, but... Um, so, yeah, you guys get the idea. It's a pretty cool little app. You can Again, it's called Mars Weather, and it's from REMS. It's REMS. Um, so you can check that out if you have an Android phone. It might make it for the iPhone. I don't know. I don't have one. Um, but check it out. That might be, it might be a nice little tool you guys want to play around with. But this is just my observation. I'm looking. I'm going 872, 880. Um, what happened? And it wouldn't matter because here we go again, guys. 881. We're in the same bloody spot we've been forever. What gives? And uh, another observation I made, too. Now, this has been in the same spot for, I don't know, what, three months? Um, yeah, it's getting ridiculous now. If you notice, you don't see too many pictures with the horizon anymore. I don't know if you guys know that, but you, you, there really is none. There, you don't see a whole lot anymore. You see, what you will see is you'll see, like, a lot of hills, little rocks, big rocks. you see specific things like that, but you will not see, uh, what do you call it here? Uh, you just simply will not see... A whole lot of background like they're showing here. Um, and, yeah, we can get into that one big time, too. So, um, anyway, guys, don't want to take up too much of your time. I just wanted to show you that. Um, just a really cool. Um, I'm going to try to do more of these so we can see, it like, an overall areas as opposed to just a single frame or single picture. It's like knocking two videos out with one. So, if they seem a little lengthy, I'm going to try to put in two if I can every now and then. And this way here, you guys can see, like, a whole panorama type thing as opposed to just one small picture. And by seeing the whole thing, I mean, come on. You can actually see that there's not just rocks here. There isn't. Um, but there's, like, there's going to be a lot of changes here, you know. Uh, uh, we're going to try to get this out more and more to the public. That's why I ask you guys to share the videos, share the pictures. Um, let people see what's really on here. So, anyway, guys. Just want to let you guys see that. I thought that was interesting. I thought that was really cool. Um, I'm happy about it because, like I said, because I get to see the overall. And I wanted to show you that because I'm saying if we can make like a uh, like a photo uh, or like a panorama of a whole giant area full of these structures, you know it's not just one freak of nature thing. Like, oh, look, there's a little structure out of the whole picture. Well, now that you're seeing like two or three pitches worth of a panorama, now you're seeing a whole layout of stuff. And this, it looks like it's up on a uh, like a like a higher plateau, so to speak, looking down, and you could just see all of this. Now, if these are not structures, by God, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think this stuff is. Maybe I'm totally off base here, guys. Um, I don't think so, but you never know. It could be my pareidolia. Anyway, guys, have a good one. The weekend's coming up. Thank God for that. Right now it's hump day, Wednesday. So, you know, uh, hopefully the rest of the week goes by, and uh, can't wait to see the football game this weekend. Anyway, guys, enjoy the day, and I will see you next picture.